Welcome to the Gift of Gratitude. My name is Lauren Ekstrom, co-founder of Inner Dimension TV, an online streaming platform for yoga, meditation, and daily wisdom. You can find this series and the important supportive bonus material when you join us. Click the link below and you'll get a free 10-day trial. Be sure to click subscribe and let's get started with two blocks at the top of your mat. Welcome to the Gift of Gratitude. Have two blocks near the front of your mat, and we'll start reclining on the back. Bend your knees, place the soles of your feet flat, and drop your knees in together to touch. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, allowing your eyes to close as you begin to deepen your breath. In the study of gratitude, researcher Brene Brown found that there was not one person who described themselves as joyful who did not have a gratitude practice. It is said that the root of joy is gratefulness. And so to arrive here now on the mat and in the body, grateful to yourself for carving out this time and joyful at the present moment in which you have fully arrived. And from here, drop your arms down by your sides, turn your palms to the floor, and heel toe your feet in sitting bone distance. Grounding through your feet on an inhale, lift your hips up and off the earth and sweep your arms up and over your head for a floating bridge. As you exhale, lower your hips and lower your arms. Everything touches to the mat when you're empty of breath. Two more like that. Inhale, press into the heels, lift the hips, sweep the arms up and over the head. Exhale, hips lower, arms lower, everything back down to the mat. One more time in a flow on the breath. Inhale, hips rise and arms sweep. Exhale, hips lower, arms lower, and as you make contact with the mat, reach down, hug and squeeze the knees into the chest. Start to rock forward and back, eventually rock all the way up and come to hands and knees. Wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, as we start to articulate the spine, opening both the front and the back of the heart. On an inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, gaze toward the horizon. Exhale, tuck the tail round the spine, hang the head as you separate the shoulder blades, opening up the back of the heart. Two more times, little cat-cow here. Inhale, heart rises as the tail lifts. Exhale, lift the navel to the spine, dome the back, and hang the head. One more time, inhale, heart pulls through the gateway of the chest. Exhale as you tuck and round as we just start to find a little bit of space so we can give and receive. On an inhale, lift the heart, lift the sitting bones and keep that lift. Tuck the toes and then lift the knees up and off of the mat and press back into your first downward facing dog. You might keep that little bend in the knees to arc your sitting bones to the sky. And as you ground through the hands on an inhale, a spinal wave, rounding yourself forward into upper push-up plank position, eventually gazing slightly ahead, lengthening out of the back of the neck. Exhale, firm the thighs, lift up through the navel, press back downward facing dog, and two more times like that. Inhale, spinal wave, forward upper push-up plank position, eventually the shoulders above the wrists. Exhale, takes you back, downward facing dog, one more time, and then we'll hold plank. Inhale, spinal wave your body forward, upper push-up plank position, hold there, take a breath. Then as you exhale, shift to the toes, bend the elbows, and lower slow the whole body down onto the mat. Release the tops of the feet down to the earth, and then take the arms out wide, coming up onto the tips of the fingers, and if you're limited on space, you can always bend the elbows instead. Either way, up on the tips of the fingers, inhale, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back, still pressing the tops of the feet down into the earth. Then exhale, lengthen to lower, heart, chest, and chin to the mat, two more times like that. Inhale, a wide-armed fingertip cobra as you spread the chest. Exhale, heart, chest, and chin to the earth one more time. 
Inhale, heart rising as the shoulders wrap back. It might just be a little lift, that's okay. Exhale, lower slow, slip the hands by the low ribs, and then on an inhale, either rise to baby cobra, or if you're ready, press down into the hands, the tops of the feet, and shift up into upward facing dog. Take one more inhale here, and exhale, press back, downward facing dog, as you roll up and over your toes, and we're gonna get right into a flow here, as you tune into the sound and the rhythm of your breath. On an inhale, float your right leg up and off the mat. Exhale, knee to nose, shoulders above wrists, dome and round the upper back. So open up the back of the heart as the shoulder blades spread. Inhale, three leg downward facing dog, right leg lifts up and back. Exhale, right foot steps forward, drop the left knee down behind the left hip. On an inhale, circling arms to the sky and catch and interlace everything but the first finger up and overhead. As you lift the heart, lift the chest, so a little steeple mudra back bend as the hips shift forward and you open the front of the left thigh. Take one more inhale as you lean back. Then exhale, place your hands to the floor and on the same out breath, tuck your left toes and lift your left knee. Here you'll use your blocks. Bring them forward out ahead of your mat at their highest height. Place your hands on your blocks and on an inhale into a supported version of warrior three. So this is your flat back. Heart forward, left thigh back. Take an inhale here. Then exhale, left foot down, forward fold, hang the head. Rise to the sky, inhale, both arms sweep above. Exhale, bend the elbows down to the side waist, pull the tips of the shoulder blades in, spread and open the heart. Inhale, both arms reach back up to the sky. Exhale, dive down and let it all go. Inhale, hands to shins as you lengthen out. Hands down, exhale, step back to plank and lower slow on the same out breath. Inhale, cobra or upward facing, always your choice. Down dog as you exhale, press back. Left leg lifts, inhale up and off the mat. Exhale, knee to nose, thigh to chest, hug it in, navel to back. Inhale, left leg rising as you sense a little joy, body beginning to warm. Exhale, left foot forward, right knee down behind the right hip. Into your low lunge, steeple mudra up and overhead, draw the upper arms back, almost like you could find a little camel in the upper back. Take a deep inhale there. Exhale, place the fingertips down, lift the right knee up and off the mat, then inhale, hands to blocks, heart forward, right leg, lifts parallel to the mat. Forward fold, exhale, right foot down, drop the head, drop the hands. To the sky, inhale, circle and rise to stand. Exhale, cactus the elbows, open the heart as if you could let joy in. Inhale, both arms rise, sweep and lift. Forward fold, exhale, bow down, drop the head. Chest out, inhale, make some space. Hands to the earth as you exhale, step back, lower down with grace. Inhale to a back bend that's right for you. Down dog, exhale, we flow this. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, tap and touch. Inhale, heel to the sky. Exhale, float it through light. Low lunge, inhale, steeple mudra up above. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, hands to blocks, left leg lifts flat back. Forward fold, exhale and bow in. Inhale, circle to the sky and rise. Exhale, pull the elbows to the sides. Inhale, sweep up, maybe gaze up. Exhale, fold and let it all empty out. Inhale, fill your lungs and flat back. Hands down, exhale, step back. You could use your knees to descend. Inhale, cobra or up dog, we flow. Exhale, down dog with gratitude. Left leg lifts, inhale. Thigh to chest, exhale. Inhale, heel to the sky. Exhale, step it through light. Back knee drops. Inhale, circle and rise as the hands interlace. Exhale, fingertips down, right knee floats. Inhale to a flat back, reach through the heart. Exhale, drop down and fold in. 
Inhale, circle to the sky, we flow. Exhale, elbows to the ribs. Inhale with a smile on a face. Exhale, let it all go, drop the head today. Inhale, pull the chest out. Exhale, hands down, step back as we build some strength. Inhale as your heart elevates. Exhale, down dog, one more round. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, thigh to chest, touch. Inhale, back up to three leg down dog. Exhale, right foot through low lunge. Inhale, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, hands down, left knee lifts. Inhale, supported warrior three. Exhale, fold and hang the head. Inhale, ground through the feet and rise to stand. Exhale, elbow to ribs, let joy flow in. Inhale, both arms rise above. Exhale, fold and press the breath out. Inhale, lead with your heart. Hands down, exhale, step back and lower elbows in. Inhale, shoulders roll. Exhale, down dog, we flow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, press it back up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, back knee drops and arms lift, arch back. Hands down, exhale, right knee off the mat. Inhale, hands to blocks, reach through the heart. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, rise for the last time. Exhale, elbows to the ribs. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands down, step back as you lower with control. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Down dog, exhale, hold there. On an inhale, float forward, upper push up plank. Shoulders above the wrists, a little bit of core strength. Take one more inhale and plank, and then shift forward to the toes, bend the elbows, and lower the whole body down onto the mat slow. Slip your blocks off to the side and then run your arms down by your sides. On an inhale, lift your arms, lift your chest, and lift your legs up and off the mat. You could stay here. Or start to bend the knees, reach back with the hands, and see what you can catch. On an inhale, maybe the toes rise, maybe the thighs lift, and as you kick the feet into the hands, roll the shoulders down, lift the heart, lift the chest, take an inhale here. Exhale, legs back, arms by the sides. We meet you back in Shalabhasana if you've stayed there. Release the tops of the feet down, plant the hands. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Down dog, exhale, press back. Take an inhale, lift the hips up and back. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, pull the heart forward and out. Exhale, forward fold and melt. Bend the knees, drop the hips, sit back on an inhale into chair pose. And as the weight shifts to the heels, ground through the sole of your right foot. Float your left leg to your chest and find eagle pose, left thigh on top of right. Then left elbow underneath the right as the forearms intertwine. You draw right to your very center with your focus and your presence. And you remember the great teaching of this particular practice, which is simply that joy is found through the practice of gratitude, not the other way around. It's not gratitude. It's not joy that makes us grateful. It's gratitude that makes us joyful. Give it one last little moment there as you squeeze everything in. Then on an inhale, left knee to the chest, both arms to the sky, hold there and pause. Start to bring your left heel to your left sitting bone back behind you, drop your left arm by your side, and then catch the outer edge of the left foot with your left hand. Grow tall on an inhale. Out towards Shiva Natarajasana or dancer pose as you exhale. Lifting the left toes to the sky, lifting the left thigh to the earth, a half version of what you might have done a moment ago on your belly on the mat. We're going to keep going. Remember the blocks down there if you want it for support. 
continuing to hold your left foot, place your right fingertips down onto the floor, stack your left hip on top of your right as you move from dancer pose into what we call chapasana. Kick the left foot into the hand, peel the chest open, give it one last moment there. Then into full half moon, left leg back behind you, left arm to the sky, spread out wide, take one more deep breath in. Start to bend your right knee, float step back to warrior two as you exhale. Reverse your warrior inhale, right arm up and overhead as you reach back. Cartwheel the hands down to the mat as you exhale. Pause in plank pose, lift your right toes up and off the mat so you're in a three-legged version of plank. Inhale here. Exhale, take your right knee to your left elbow to twist. Spin the sole of your back left foot flat, reach your left arm to the sky, and then kick your right leg out towards straight. Take an inhale here. Exhale, left hand comes down, roll all the way to the blade of your back left foot, drop your right toes behind you, lift your hips up, sweep your right arm up and over your head, big inhale as the hips lift. Exhale, right hand comes down to the mat, step back to plank, take a goodbye inhale, lower slow with strength. Cobra up dog, heart elevates, down dog exhale, press back. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. <sighs> Here we go. Inhale, press the hips up and back. Bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Feet to hands. Chest out, inhale, make some space. Exhale, fold and bow back in. Last time today, bend the knees, drop the hips, wade into the heels, chair pose, you take a seat. Steady yourself. Float the right knee into the chest, stack the right thigh over the left, and then eagle pose with the arms, right elbow underneath the left. Continue descending through the left thigh. Continue ascending through the elbows and the forearms. Find one place for the eyes. On an inhale, float the left leg towards straight, the right knee toward the chest as both arms rise so you work a little core strength. Right heel starts to shift back to right sitting bone. Right arm drops by the right side. Catch the outer edge of the foot. Take an inhale long through the left side. Then exhale, start to tilt forward into dancer pose. Right toes lifting. Right hip turning down. Take an inhale here as you grow long and extend. Then still holding that foot, start to tilt the body forward like a little teapot. Left hand under left shoulder or to a block. Stack the right hip on top of the left, kick the foot into the hand, let the chest peel open so that you can let joy flow in. Receptive and open, give it one last little squeeze. Right leg straight behind you, right arm to the sky, full half moon pose, you spread wide. Start to bend the left knee, float the right foot back, reverse your warrior on an inhale, left arm all the way up and overhead. Cartwheel the hands down as you exhale, float the left leg back behind you into three-legged plank. Left knee to right elbow, you twist. Sole of the right foot spins flat back of the mat. Circle the right arm to the sky. Kick the left leg out if you'd like. Take an inhale, lean back. Exhale, left, right hand to the mat, spin to the blade of the right foot, drop the left toes behind you, a little wild thing as you flip out, big in breath. Exhale, left hand to the mat, step back up or push up so you counter the back bend. Lower slow for the last time. Inhale, cobra or up dog, you rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. And a sense of joy at what you are able to accomplish when you show up on your mat even if time is limited there is joy in the practice of being here right now of getting onto your mat take an inhale knees to the earth as you exhale crawl them forward cross your ankles behind you and roll onto your back knees bent feet flat arms by your sides 
take an inhale, press into the feet. Lift the hips up, finding bridge pose, catch and interlace the hands underneath the low back, rolling one shoulder under than the next. You could stay here. Or if you wanted to bring the hands back by the ears, press onto the crown of the head first, then straighten the arms, lift the heart, lift the chest into Urdhva Dhanurasana. Full upward facing bow. If you're all the way up, take one more inhale. Tuck the chin in, lower slow, upper back, middle back, lower back, let it all go. Reach down, hug and squeeze your knees into your chest. Gratitude for yourself. Gratitude for your practice and the joy it brings you every time you get on the mat. One last inhale here. Exhale, extend your legs forward, let your feet fall away as your arms fall down by your sides. A final deep breath in. Open the mouth, a full deep breath out. And Shavasana, as you let it all go and rest. Allow this next breath to be a little more deep and full. Maybe the eyes could stay closed as you draw the knees in. Rock your way up to sit, legs crossed, hands at the heart as you bow the chin. I don't think that I know anybody who doesn't wish to welcome more joy into their lives. And the way to do that is through the practice of gratitude. And so in this moment, you can start right now, appreciating your practice for all the goodness it brings to your life, appreciating yourself for showing up and doing the work that only you can do. This is the root of joy. On an inhale, draw your thumbs to your forehead for clarity of thought your fingertips to your lips for thoughtfulness of speech, and your hands to your heart for consistency of action, allowing your practice to guide you through everything you are thinking, saying, and doing. Take a full breath in. Open the mouth, exhale, a full breath out. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this 20-minute practice. It brings me joy to share this space in this community with you. If you haven't already, be sure to click subscribe below and then follow the link and join us over at Inner Dimension TV where you can experience this series in its entirety. I look forward to seeing you next time.